Organizing Windows. Here in this tutorial, we'll take a look at the options that we have to work with resizing our windows. Now we have these icons in the taskbar. If you watch closely, you see the Windows Explorer icon alone is highlighted. If I hover my mouse over it, you'll see the pop-up screen over it. And here we have two pop-up screens stating that there are two windows opened up and is kept minimized. If I do the same for the Windows Media Player, I shan't see any of the pop-up screens, stating that there are no media players kept open. Now let's get back to the Windows Explorer icon. If I just hover my cursor over the first pop-up screen, watch what happens. We should see the contents within the library's folder. And hover my cursor to the next screen, we'll see the contents contained within the desktop. If I take away my cursor, the window disappears. If you want that window to work with, then go to the Windows Explorer icon and click over the screen that you'd like to work with. And here we have it in front of us such we can do our work. In earlier versions of Windows, we would have clicked this square-shaped button adjacent to the Close button to maximize the window, or clicking the Same to restore. I'd like to show you a very innovative, cool technology that Windows 7 has offered. With this minimized window, if I click and drag this bar to the top of the window, watch what happens when my cursor hits the top of the window. The window has maximized and fitted itself onto the screen. And if I just click and drag it down, watch. We had it minimized down even without reaching this button to the top right-hand corner of Windows. Wonderful, isn't it? Windows 7 has made all kinds of wonderful new features. With all that left behind, if I hover the cursor over this icon pinned down to the taskbar, the pop-up screen appears and shows the two Microsoft Word documents that have been kept minimized. Let me open both of them. Now, what I want is to copy the contents in one document to the other. Microsoft Windows 7 offers you a new technique to make that process much smoother. Let me click and drag the title bar of this Microsoft Office document until it hits the left end of the screen. Now watch what happens. It snaps itself to fit to the left half of the screen. And if I drag the other Word document and move it to the right end, in a similar fashion, it snaps to the right half of the screen. Now you can go ahead and type in the contents in this document by copying from the other. And if you want to remove them, just drag and drop them into the interface just as that. With these windows opened up, I couldn't see anything in my desktop. Now watch what happens if I hover my cursor over this small button at the very right end of the taskbar, which is the Show Desktop button. It fades away all the windows that are present and shows up the desktop. If I move my cursor away, it shows up the windows that were present earlier. Pretty cool, eh? Now our screen looks quite untidy. I do only want this Word document to work with and put all the other windows minimized down at the taskbar. We could do that with just a shake of the mouse. Yeah, I mean it. If you click and hold this top bar of the Word document and shake it a little bit, look at that. All the windows get minimized except for that. Now, if you shake it again, you would be able to get those windows back, stacked on your desktop. And with that's the end of our lesson.